Welcome to Sweet Spot. It's the middle of November, Thanksgiving's right around the corner, and here on the East Coast, we've just been hit with our first invigorating cold snap. Now's the perfect time to make rich and buttery, super nutty pecan bars. They have all the goodness of a pecan pie without the pie. We're gonna cut them a little bit fancy, so they'll be perfect for your holiday entertaining, and they make great gifts. Hey, let's get started. This recipe is made in two parts. You have the rich and buttery crust, and you have the pecan laden caramelly topping. We need a 10 by 15 pan. You could use a 9 by 13, but they will be a little bit thick. For the crust, we have two cups of all-purpose flour. We have a half a cup of sugar and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. We also have a stick and a half of butter or six ounces unsalted, one egg we're gonna need, and a teaspoon of vanilla. For the topping, we need two sticks of unsalted butter, half a pound. We need a quarter cup of sugar. We need one and a quarter cups of light brown sugar, packed. We're also going to need the zest of an orange we're also going to need a quarter cup of honey. I measured it in a wonder cup. I love this for liquids or semi-liquids. We also are going to need one pound of pecans, a half a pound whole pecans, and a half a pound of coarsely chopped pecans. And we need heavy cream or whipping cream, a quarter cup. I'm measuring in here in a liquid measure, an OXO Good Grips liquid measure that I prefer for measuring liquid. From above the measuring cup, simply pour until the desired measure is reached. Another favorite kitchen tool, perfect for zesting, is a microplane zester. Check the link in the YouTube notes down below. These make easy work for this task. We only need a teaspoon. Roughly chop half the pecans. That's a half pound of pecans. Fun! For the crust, let's start with the egg and vanilla. Just lightly beat this mixture. In a food processor, we'll want to give a quick spin to the flour, sugar, and salt. Use the standard blade. So happy with this antique Cuisinart. Still going strong after 35 years. Crazy. Next, add in sliced butter. We want to pulse this six or eight or 10 times, enough that no chunks of butter remain, but leaving the flour still fluffy. There we go. If we were to pinch this mixture, it'd clump together. With the processor running, we'll want to pour the egg mixture down the spout and let the machine do your work, stopping when the dough is coming together, but it's not yet a big mass. A few seconds. The mixture should be crumbly. Scoop out the dough to roughly spread it around the baking pan. And spread the dough. Dip your fingers in flour as necessary. Take your time, don't leave any holes, and get the edges. Bake for 10 minutes at 375. Don't let the dough brown. Remove from the oven and let cool while preparing the topping. Set the oven temperature to 350.
Heat a one and a half or two quart heavy saucepan over medium low with the butter, the honey, the white and brown sugars. After the butter melts, raise the heat to medium, bringing the mixture to a boil. Boil for one minute, no stirring. Remove from the heat, add in the orange zest, the cream, and the nuts. Stir until fully incorporated, and this is hot. Pour over the crust, spread evenly to fully cover. Get the corners, get the edges. Let's put this back in the oven and bake for 30 minutes or until the topping has turned a warm golden color. Keep an eye on it being careful not to burn the nuts. Remove from the oven and cool. These may be cut into square or rectangular shapes, or here I'm cutting these into diamonds about two inches by one and a half inches. This is a nice serving size. Figuring this out takes a little bit of math. Paying attention in geometry finally pays off. Basically, we want to score the top every two inches in one direction and every one and a half inches in the other. Then, with a bench scraper, or something else pretty sturdy, we cut diagonally across the square marks in both directions. And we end up with nice little diamonds. Very fitting, as these pecan bars are a real gem. My favorite part, the taste test. These are lovely. Wow. A lot of flavor. I think that's what makes the recipe special. The nuts are definitely crunchy and toasted. The crust is soft, buttery, rich. You can taste the honey. I'm pretty sure that's the honey I'm tasting. And the citrus, the orange. Wow, a nice pop. A tingle, kind of a tingle on your tongue. These are better than I remember them. If you enjoyed this recipe, hit the subscribe button below. 
The full recipe you'll find in the YouTube notes. Until next time, this is Sweet Spot.